Hey everybody, it's Minius, and recently I got a chance to play 18 hours of Mass Effect Andromeda thanks to an invite from Electronic Arts, which is what this little thing in the corner means. And I thought I'd make a quick little video giving some starting advice without actually touching on the story or anything spoilerish. The first thing you need to do when starting up Mass Effect Andromeda is pick a character. You have a choice between twins, brother, and sister. Now this isn't like previous Bioware or Mass Effect games. In the Mass Effect trilogy, there was one Shepard. You could choose Shepard's gender, but the two options basically ended up being the same character. These twins are a bit different. First of all, both remain in the game no matter which one you choose, making for a very different dynamic than having just one Shepard. But also, their personalities are a bit different. They have different things to say. From what I've played, the sister is a bit more serious, while the brother has more of a sarcastic, humorous personality. And while this might have you leaning in a specific direction, this is a Mass Effect game. You can tailor your dialogue however you want. As far as a choice between brother and sister, I recommend playing as yourself, or at least choosing the character that you can most easily fit into the shoes of. That approach isn't for everybody, but the experience becomes a whole lot more personal that way. Keep in mind that once you finish the game, you can continue your progress into New Game Plus, meaning you can keep your level and abilities for the start of a new game, but this time you can gender swap to get a different look at the game the second time around. You can also customize your character's name and appearance, which I won't get into here because that's better left up to you. But you do get to pick a training focus, which is a bit more like being able to choose your starting ability. This is not the same as choosing a class like in previous games. As soon as you level up, virtually the entire ability list will be available to you, but you will be stuck with one ability to start, so it's a good idea to choose wisely. There are six starting options, Security, which gives you Concussive Shot, which on its own is pretty much just a knockdown ability. You can ignore the Unlock Skills section because, as I said, everything becomes available to you as soon as you have the points for it. There's Biotic, which comes with the Throw ability. On its own, this ability is virtually identical to Concussive Shot, only the recharge speed is a few seconds faster. The next is Technician, which comes with Overload, which specializes in damaging shields and synthetics. There's Leader, which comes with Energy Drain, which is a lot like Overload, only it drains your enemy's shields and gives them to you at the cost of a five second longer recharge speed. Still, it's good for some additional survivability early on. Then there's Scrapper, which comes with the Charge ability, which dives you right in at your target and gets you into the middle of the fray. If you're new to Mass Effect, I probably recommend starting here. Charge is a very fun ability that offers something a bit different than a lot of other games out there. And then there's Operative, which comes with Tactical Cloak, a simple cloaking ability that allows you to hide and deal bonus damage to enemies. There are a few things to consider when choosing this starting build, but the most important is where do you want to take your character from here? Scrapper and Operative feature, charge, and tactical cloak respectively, and both are great for being the primary ability to build a character off of. If you really like either of those abilities, I suggest starting with that specific training and then going from there. If you want to use more technical abilities, it's a good idea to start with either technician or leader, which comes with overload or energy drain respectively, because that gives you a jump start on potential tech bonuses with the profile system. The same goes for biotics with throw and a head start on biotic training and security with concussive shot and a head start on combat training. Something else to point out is that other than tactical cloak, all of these starting abilities are detonator abilities, meaning they can take targets that are already primed with other abilities and create combo explosions for extra damage. If you choose to start out with Concussive Shot, Throw, Overload, Energy Drain, or even Charge, it might be a good idea to choose a priming ability as soon as you have the points for it, so you can take advantage of that game mechanic. If you start out with Charge, your second ability should probably be something ranged, like Singularity or Incinerate. You can add the Cryo Beam and Flamethrower to help with all the other detonator abilities. Of course, these are just suggestions. Probably the best part about building a character in Mass Effect Andromeda is the sheer number of options you have. If you see particular abilities that you like, go for those. And if you don't like the direction you've taken, you can always reallocate your points from the medical bay of your ship. Keep in mind though, this comes at a cost. While your first respec is virtually free, after that, each time you reallocate 
allocate your skill points, there is a 500 credit charge per time that you've respect, and that adds up quickly. So try to plan out your build and make the most of early changes if you choose to make them. I will have full breakdowns of all of the abilities in the near future to give you a better idea of what direction you might be interested in going in, so keep an eye on Minius GC for all of that, and if you like this video, please give it a like. It really helps out the channel. But for now, have a pleasant day.